What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I'm your host, Justin Turnell, with my co-host, Brian Limper, and a special little guest with us here we today. We do have a special guest. It is the Sorting Hat from Ooh. Harry Potter, made out of Legos. Yeah. He's supposed to uh, talk, so we'll see what happens. We haven't done it yet. We haven't tried it. It said he has, what, 31 things he can say? Yeah, that's a lot so, of things. Let's see what he says. His face is supposed to move, too. I don't know how loud it's going to be, so let's see here. Right. What do you have to say, Sorting Hat? Oh, it did okay. say something. Okay. He spoke. Yes, clearly Oh, oh my oh. gosh, that's crazy. All right, I guess Susan Bones is going to Hufflepuff. <laughs> Sick. Welcome to the show. How's it feel to be here? Yes. Oh, scary! Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks, sorting, sorting hat. hat. Wow, that's crazy. It's actually pretty sick because his face moves. Yeah, and it looks just like the real one. It really does. It's pretty cool, actually. That is awesome. I wasn't really sure if it was gonna actually talk when he pushed it, but I guess. I know. Our uh, engineering worked. We did it. We did it. Thanks, instructions. <laughs> that's really crazy. It's actually like pretty solid. It's like a legit like little. Oh, you don't want to be hitting the head with this thing. No, it's like pretty solid. It's very cool. What a great! So, so apparently event. everyone's uh, well. You already liked it, but everyone's getting into um, Harry Potter now. So yeah, I guess that's like the big thing for twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four, about twenty three, twenty four years later, it's just no. time to finally give it a chance. Fall twenty twenty four, the year of Harry Potter. <laughs> Did I send you the one Instagram thing, or it was like the person who like they're like fake hate on like the fall and the cold weather, and then he's like, "Ooh, I would hate to cuddle up in this blanket and watch oh, Harry yeah. Potter," and he's like smiling into the camera. It was so funny. He's like, like I really dislike all these false and candles. He, he's like sniffing it. He's like, I'd really hate to drive through a Starbucks drive thru right now. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, pumpkin spice latte in the back. <laughs> it was so funny. That is really funny. And he's like smiling in the mirror. <laughs> so it was good. It was really good. Yeah, yeah Justin, welcome. Sorry, uh, Matt is, uh, he's I guess. Really into Harry Potter now. I'm uh, not done with the movies, but getting there. On number five. Hey. Even though I feel like I need to like start number five over. You probably just need to, like, watch all of them through, then rewatch all of them again. I know, I think that would help a lot. Just watch all of them through, and then you can watch all of them again. Because honestly, yeah. Because honestly, I'm watching them, like, sort of quickly, so some stuff kind of blends together, but yeah, I mean, probably okay. rewatching. They're fun, though. It's it's fun. It's entertaining. It's a very magical And now place. the uh, Sorting Hat is on our show. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. He gets it. Is that the is that part of the thirty one? <laughs> like the, he, you belong in Ravenclaw. Oh. So like what happens if you like put the hat on and you do it and it just says, Oh I know, this is just like you don't get interesting. <laughs> That's crazy. What back cool in my day toilet. Legos could not talk. So now they do Yeah, back in my day the Legos were kinda stupid. They like didn't do nothing. Now there's a lot. If you're real creative you could like make a house. It's really crazy. But yeah, pretty cool. Welcome to the show, Sorting Hat. I'm glad you could be with us. I hope we like somehow get banned for using that as like a copyright thing. Well, they're gonna be real mad and they put our outro music as the Harry Potter theme. There song. we go. There we go. Uh, we had a lot of comebacks here recently. We really did. Like a ton. There's so many. It's been like nonstop. There was a the time. Like it's it's honestly two, three weeks. I can't think of a crazier time in all the years of like paying attention to K-pop with like so many comebacks all in one one little area so it's weird that when like the comebacks from like last week feel that like they're like months ago i know maybe next week we need to watch the one uh countdown things from yeah and the see one th- show the what's it kville and see what everyone's listening to now the new songs are gonna be put on the charts because there's like so many of them that's like oh 100 are gonna be on there now i do like watching those are kind of cool it is. It's nice, and it uh, helps us see ones that are new that maybe we missed that like we didn't really know. Because you said Kepler about. came back. Yeah, today. Uh, didn't even know that. And then um, baby monster baby monster is like finally out today, which was very cool. Stacy had their digital single not too long ago. I just don't. I don't. I mean, I guess like they wouldn't know, but like what a interesting time that everyone is just going back. Like yeah, I know it's like ridiculous. And we know like Veeves is coming in a little while. I don't know the exact date on that. We've had a lot of info thrown at us, so... Yeah. Um, Perky already came back. Hitsy already came back. Illa came back. Illa came back. Kiss of Life. Those feel like they're, like, months ago at this point, like I was saying, but... And I think it was, like, last week. It was, like, yeah, it was, like, not even... It was, like, ten days ago, maybe. Um, 
But it's cool. So, it's very good stuff. Shout out to Baby Monster coming out today and Walmart already having the album. That was pretty crazy, actually. And they had your uh, Yeji. They had a, my Yeji. Uh, I don't even know what technical name of this version is, but it's the one with her on the cover, so I had to buy that. It was a good Walmart trip today. What did you think of a Walmart sorting hat? Okay, oh, yeah, that's brother. what I agree. I agree. I that's you where you really were. Love Hufflepuff, that's you? where you were born. I know it's like all thirty-one sayings. Hmm, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know if you're a good guess or not a good guess. I was hoping to be more like a magic eight ball or just like say random. I things. know, like I'm trying to base all my decisions off like you a know? fortune cookie. It or did something? come with a little Harry in the, in his own sorting hat. So that is true. A, There's mini Harry down. That's there. a good mini figure to get. Kind of the main one. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. If anything else happened, because I haven't really bought too much. I guess I did buy those, um, what is it, I don't even know, Headway? Is that the name of the album is? Mm-hmm. We bought those a little bit ago, but those haven't come in Yeah, yet. we have the, uh, we each got a few of each version of the whopping two different versions that Perky has. Uh, they're, they're going to be here soon, eventually. I don't really know. I don't I've actually looked for some other places to try and get it from, and it's kind of just difficult, or shipping is way too much. Yeah, I don't know. They the last couple albums I just, they had, they really didn't do too much. I just feel like they just was like not super available, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like there wasn't like pre order stuff that was easy, unless I just missed it. But I don't know. We're trying to help Perky out the best we can. Since we're two of the like thirty thousand people that watch the music video, I know. Oh my gosh. Actually, I wonder how many views are on that now. Probably not a bunch. <sighs> it's gotta be it. Unfortunate. Gotta be a quarter of a million, right? Two, let's, let's just look. Let's you can look. type her in real quick. So we're Kitchen until... Nightmares? <laughs> we watched some of those today. 613,000. Okay, over half a million. Let's go. Wow. I'm pretty sure Baby Monster had like freaking 12 when I looked <laughs> and it came mm. out today. Oh, well, um, Baby Monster's awesome, though. There's really also good. a super sick comeback by the legend himself. Um,. G Dragon. Oh my gosh, that song was sick. The song was awesome. I loved it. It I was, was like, like, man, you still got it. It was like literally, just like you heard it and you're like, this is GD. Like it's such a GD song. It was and super like, good. The video is so GD. Everything about it. He was. He I had mean, that uh, Sungri one take off. Uh, oh, I love it. It was so sick. Video. I love that song. That has been on that. I mean, well, it came out like two days ago, but I've been listening to that a lot, along with some of the songs on the Baby Monster album now. But yeah, GD was freaking awesome. He's been. He's like killing all the like charts and searches. I know. And I was like, they, like, I saw where it's like he's like, the first person to have like number one on like all the chart things. And he like didn't even release. He didn't the song even have yet. the song out yet. It was crazy. I mean, he's. I don't know. I mean, just early on when we were getting into K-pop, I mean, Big Bang was like one of the groups, and GD was just freaking awesome. So happy to see him. He's actually gone through some crap too, like not too long ago, and he kind of got out of it. So good for him. Good for him being the. Being I also the king. saw where they finally put out the little teaser thingy for season two of squid games mm. so that'd be pretty cool yeah i saw um a screenshot of uh yuri and top in there yeah they're both in that's there. cool that's what we need to do we need to watch all of squid games one before squid games two comes out so you can <sighs> see, see i have not again uh i have not watched the first season of that so. he's really taking in a lot of uh might not want to wait 21 years on that one <laughs> Video recently because he's also started watching a Lord, of, Lord Rings. of the Rings. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I just never watched it back in the day. Literally, when it was in all these things were in their heyday. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like a kid, and it was like huge, and it still is. So, but it's just funny. But yeah, I don't know. Something's going on with the government's making everyone watch Harry Potter somehow. But At it's least good. Squid Games isn't as long as like even one movie of. Lord of the Rings. Or that's Harry the Potter. one. I think that's like long. Honestly, that might have been one of the reasons why I never really watched. Like three hours long. I'm like, but then it's like every Marvel movie is also like super long too. So I was like, what's the, what's three hours anymore? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a long, a long time. But I mean, I watched about half of the first one. It was good. It was good so far. So just catching up on my two hunt or two thousand one pop culture. Yeah, we'll have to watch Squid Games before. Gotta check out the next thing called Star Wars. The new one. Yeah, I know. Next up, Star Wars. Which I actually have not seen all those either, so. I was gonna say, I think, what, well, have you only seen the ones that you went and saw with me and my dad? I've seen all the, I guess, new ones that I saw with you. I never saw any of the middle ones, the prequel ones. Yeah. And then, I think I've seen, I when well, they blew up the Death Star, I know I've seen all of that one. I mean, and honestly. I, the- honestly, I don't know if I've even seen a full of the other ones. Sorry, Star Wars fans out there, but honestly, the only ones that you really 
need to see a ton of are like the ones with like the original ones. Like I just really from back in the day. I mean, I really loved like the cut first couple seasons of The Mandalorian, but honestly, I didn't really even like the last one that much. So I don't know. I never really got into Star Wars. Yeah, it's all right. You can throw that on the back burner. I was gonna say we got some other stuff to catch up on right now. You have too much other things to watch. Just finish Harry Potter. That's important. Yeah, I know. I really am trying. Actually, I'm like trying to get that done. So. It's okay. But. So, like, what do you got a full, like, uh, 15 hours worth of movies to watch? Yeah. Well, I almost want to start the fifth one over, but, like, five, six, seven, and seven again. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say there's a two-parter there. So. Mm. I don't know. You'll get there eventually. And then you'll be like, wow. We really could have skipped, like, <laughs> six of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. It's a good learning experience for everybody. Yeah, it's uh, just prepping me for next time we go to Universal Studios. Then you can really go into Ollivander's and you know. Then I can the, actually uh, know what the stuff is. So you can go talk to the actual Sorting Hat. Honestly. You belong in Ravenclaw. Okay. And they don't mix these up very well. I was gonna I say we've just gone say through like Ravenclaw? five different things out of thirty-one. So. And two of them are Hufflepuff. And I hope two it's two just he says thirty-one things and it just breaks. <laughs> Maybe the problem is I need to actually put it on my head so it can tell me where I'm going. <laughs> Let's see. Not what you came for this week. I've been listening to a lot of like just random stuff, honestly. It like pops up on my um, playlist and I'll listen to it. So I listened to an album today. I'll recommend from a group from like, of course, the mid 2000s. I didn't realize that that's when they were from. Yeah. I remember they popped up on my Discover Week. I'm like, man, these guys are pretty sick. Like, I wonder where they're from. Like, is this like a new band? Like, is this somebody that's like currently making music? Because this is awesome. Right. I may have actually recommended it before. I don't remember. But the name of the band is called Carterize. Okay. Like a wound. Like you Carterize a wound. Okay. Gotcha. And the album is So Far From Real from 2003. Really? Yes. Okay. The whole album is actually extremely good. I really like it. But I guess if I'd recommend one song to you guys, it's called Choke. Okay. Carterize, super sick early 2000s band that I thought was more recent. Kind of sad that it's not because... <laughs> Don't think they make music anymore, that's okay. Yeah. What you Mine, I think it's a group that we've talked about before, which I'm pretty sure like 100% is. And if I could like find the song, uh, it's a group called Driveways, which is oh, like yeah. a pop punk band that seems to really come alive during the Halloween time. That's like when they do stuff. Uh, and they had a single called Ghost of Smile come out. And it was pretty good. You know, we might have actually recommended them the exact same time around last year. Well, it just like it was like popped on my thing. I was like, oh yeah, and it was you know, it, all their songs are like you know, it's like good. And I was like, yeah, we'll recommend them just because like they literally go in like a hibernation and then they come out for like, Halloween and do something. So very much into that vibe. The little album thing has like a jack o' I do remember too. Remember we looked it up one day and yeah. they like only release stuff around like Halloween time. Yeah. For, so that's my... It's like a fun little side project. Since Halloween was Thursday? It was, it was like literally like two days ago. It's November now, so... Um, yeah, that's my recommendation. It's a good recommendation. Get into the holiday mood. With driveways. Yeah. I'll have to look, because I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to go back and see all the songs I've recommended to make like a playlist and people can listen to it if they want to. They're sure pretty, cool, pretty cool, actually. And I was looking on it, I'm like, man, we've recommended so many of these. I don't know if I want to go back and listen to every single one of them and see what I recommend. We've done it a long time. Because so. the first one we did was before we even went and saw Purple Kiss the first time. <sighs> That's crazy. So that was at least a year ago. That was coming out, that was November. Uh, that was, I know it was in November, so. So we've had to recommend at least 50 plus songs already. Like, it's been yeah, yeah. quite a while. Since we, uh. Yeah, we went to Louisville, Kentucky, right, with Brett and saw Purple Kiss for the first time. Yeah, I was in Louisville. Yeah. And it was before that because that's when we did our right our uh, deep dive into Purple Kiss episode. So that's pretty crazy where we are now. So honestly, it might have been a year ago today. Honestly, look if I'm how really far we've it. come. Yeah, because it wasn't the Halloween episode. I know that. I, I know it was like not too far from. It was like sometime in November, but I think before Thanksgiving. But that's kind of at the end. So here I can look it up real fast. Let's check it out here. Pretty easy to figure it out. Just we have the technology. We have the technology. I do like Purple Perky's new logo. I like that one's cool. It is pretty cool. But the BXX one was very cool too. 
I just love how they have a new logo ever since. That is cool. I like this. 613,000? Okay. If each one of those people bought an album. Huh. First time we did it, episode 208. Whew. November 4th, 2023. (laughs) So technically, yeah. That's crazy. It's November 2nd now, so we're Dang. two days off. By a couple days. By the time you're listening, this is probably going to be November 4th. That's so. crazy. Did I say that's 208, right? Yeah. So this is going to be episode 259. Wow. So There you go. Literally 51. I mean, it makes sense. We've recommended you 51 songs. It makes sense. And I'm sure half of them are exactly the same. <laughs> you're welcome. Or not made within the last decade, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. I found this new sick band from 2002. But yeah, good recommendations. That's some good, fun, stuff. good stuff. Fun stuff. But so I was gonna say today we got a special episode. So I put this episode, episode together, and it was idea I had. I mean, a little while ago, and we use our old trusty friend Reddit. And I'm gonna pull up my notes. Those guys really. Deserve and I made a post, and I, you know, was respect as respectful as possible, and I wanted everyone to be as respectful as possible. But I wanted to know just people's songs or songs that have come out from whoever that they pretty much just didn't like or they just thought they'd really like but they didn't we've all been there before. and on yeah i know exactly i was like you know because we're always trying to find like underrated and which is always fun but i was like what did you like not like and i was like with all due respect and i will say all the comments you know it was cool like everyone was it uh did this, anybody vote for the one song by wacky mackie no but that was that's my personal vendetta i know right? i mean that was going to be the one i was going to say uh that one for sure but yeah, I just made a post and I got a decent amount of feedback and people were, you know, just honest with whatever they said. Really, the only thing was like people, which was totally fine. I'm like, oh, well, I actually love that song, which is fine because everyone has different tastes. But no one was bogus. No one was rude. No one was trying to throw under the bus. So that's good because you never know with K-pop these days. The best is when someone will comment something and then it just a string starts. And it's like people will be like... Wow, I thought I was the only one that thought this. Like, this is awesome. I'm glad you also think the same thing. Oh, yeah. That You're like, I was too scared to tell anybody you know, yeah. this. I'm glad you agree with so, me. Like, don't hate me, but me too. I'm like, thank you. I like, also no, thought that. There'd be like 90 people saying it. And then, like, there'll be like 90 people. Then we'll be like, that's the song that got me into this group. All <laughs> right. But I was like, that's what makes, that's what I was kind of wondering. I was like, everyone has just different tastes. So yeah. I'm like, what are they kind of wondering? So I uh, just got a list of seven that we can watch that. Oh, yeah. I think we kind of know, but we don't listen to a lot. And then there was other ones I can kind of read off later. Um, and the first one is, I think it's Chick Chick Boom by Stray Kids. You know, this I was, don't think I ever heard this. I don't know if I did either. So that was why it was my number one pick, right? And I will say, uh, this song, along with a couple other Stray Kids songs, was maybe tied for like the most... Uh, on the list that I saw. I will say it makes sense, especially if you're like kind of like a casual Stray Kids listener. Yeah. I mean, it's got 43 million views on it, seems pretty good. Yeah. But after hearing like the really big songs, yeah. like God's Menu and stuff like that, you'd probably expect like super crazy things from them. And the follow-ups, in my opinion too, just have not been as good as what. That's like... Maniac ex- was pretty good, but... That's like a, that's actually exactly what people were saying. Like Backdoor, so. I don't think was as good as... Although when you make a song, it's like literally... The song of the year by many people. It's kind of hard to follow that up with like consistently yeah. with other yeah. things. Yeah, that's a that that was actually what a lot of people were saying. And people were just saying their music was getting so similar, but it wasn't as good. Yeah, it has a very cookie cutter kind of same yeah. sort of sound. Someone also said that they well they like the B sides a lot more, and they also like the festival version better because they like EDM. So that's kind of that oh, own okay. person's taste. I didn't know it was a thing, but but yeah, I don't think I've ever really heard it. I don't think I've ever heard this. So. I think this might have been the one where, remember, we were talking about, like, oh, Stray Kids is supposed to have a comeback. Yeah. And we're just like, did they ever come back? I think this has to be existing. Pretty much ago. everything you said is what everyone was saying. Like, it was just, like, not as good same stuff that they've always done. I remember, what was what was the one song they had? It wasn't Backdoor. Maniac. It wasn't that. It was, like, after that. Um, Case 143. Th- or Thunderous or whatever. Yeah. I was like, this is just, like, a not as good yeah. version of, like, Maniac. Or- and people said that <laughs> one, too. That, and then they were, like, people said Case 143, too. as like, yeah, that like not hard. great. And honestly, I can kind of see it. <laughs> like, is, this, is this the same barn with that card shot? That's that ex- I you? think you're right. I was thinking <laughs> that with, like, the weird bullet holes in there. And people, like, really have dilemmas about it because they're, like, Oh, I'm a huge Stray Kids fan, but it's just like, you gotta be honest. You, yeah, I'm not gonna like fake like the song. Like, 
Oh, I mean, there's like songs by the groups I'm really big right, fan of. I'm right. gonna tell you right now that I don't like. Absolutely. Them. Like just because it's your favorite group, it doesn't mean you gotta like ride exactly. on every song and say exactly. it's the best thing ever. And I think that's... actually, I think that's worse when fans do that because I'm like, come on now. We're just like lying. And then they're like, you just don't understand the musical style. I'm yeah, just like, come yeah. on now. But yeah, it definitely is. When you have a group that has like a super huge, like almost like a. You can kind of compare it to like in the 90s and early 2000s in America. Yeah. There's a lot of things that are considered like one hit wonders. Yeah. Like they made really good music afterwards, but it just never lived up to how big the like one hit right. wonder was. Um, not saying Stray Kids is a one hit wonder, but it's kind of like a similar thing. Yeah. It's like no matter how good their other stuff is, it's just like never going to live up to it's how good It's just not like, the what those moments Kind of like um, we were talking about last week, um, I think. Like we saw twice when they had... Yeah. Like, Feel like, Special came out, and they had um, Fancy. Fancy was, like, the current title when we and saw And that was, like, the peak twice. Like, it was so popular. Everybody loved it. Yeah. And then everything else that had to come out with it just not lived up to it for me. So yeah. it was kind of like... And I'm not going to lie, from listening to that for pretty much the first time, what you said, what all the people said, I completely agree. Yeah. That was a pretty, like, mid... Lackluster kind like, of Like, lackluster... Song. I don't want to say phoning it in, but you know what I mean. Compared so, to, like, their other ones. That right? was the... I'd agree with that. That was the first one... Uh, second one, I don't know if I've heard the song or if you've heard it. I think there was a stage. Uh, it's Glow by G Friend. So I wanted to mix it up I a little bit. I don't think I've ever heard Have you ever heard, heard the song? Either. I don't know if I have either. I know when I looked it up, there was a stage. So I'm not sure. It might be a B side. Also, I'm going to be honest with you. We all know I've not listened to a lot of G Friend. I was like, we, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I picked it. Outside Glow of up. Uh, what's the, the really popular ones just because. Oh, the there's the, there's the stage. We can watch that. So this per- and the person just said it felt like it was way too repetitive on the tiniest stage I've ever seen. Yeah, hand up. You're right. We are totally not G friend stands all. Like we just never. I just listened. We just to never like, really got into them. I've listened to like six other songs like more than any person possibly should. But like I much like on BBC. Accident. Way oh, more BBC's than awesome. yeah, they're sick. It is kind of crazy when it comes to this kind of stuff that it's like. Repetitive stuff works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, agree. Very true. Because sometimes it's almost like annoying. Yeah. But other times you're like, yeah. Like that was me with that one song by La Seraphim. Um, Anti Fragile. Yeah. Like everyone loved it. I was like, I cannot stand it. Like just saying that repeatedly. What was it? Yeah. I mean, shout out to their friends showing out. I just like this little stage around. This is like. Smaller than the side stage that we saw those groups on at KCON. Oh, I know. At least someone's in. Is this Simbi over there injured in the chair? That's what it looks like. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Also, probably get a lot of hate for this, but the other song I'm not a big fan of because it's like super repetitive to me um, is that song with Rose that everybody up loves. That was uh, on the I, APT song. We aren't going to watch it, but it was on my others list because when people said that, and that was some of the ones people were like, Please don't shoot me, but APT with, they're like, I like it, and I know she's breaking a bunch of records or whatever she's doing. They're like, I just wasn't vibing with it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just, I... Honestly, I'm with you. I wouldn't, I would have not listened to it ever again, but it's on, like, every single freaking group oh, I like. They, like, have done a dance or something I do, to it. And that's, like, kind of, that's, like, the best part about it is the other groups doing their little, like, TikTok-y things. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not, it was okay. I didn't think it was great. Also, and the people, other thing about this, I'm kind of wondering. I don't. This, this is so. This is such a tiny ever. little stage. This is like small. That stage is showed to that five E when they were like in like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. Literally like a bar. Yeah, Cindy. Cindy. What did you do to yourself? Do you love me some Cindy? Oh my it's, gosh, squad. So I don't. Two things here. One, I don't know if this is like a comeback or like a B side. It almost seems like a B side. Yeah. That's, so I'm not sure why. You, yeah. Hand up. No idea. You'd be super disappointed in like a B side, but anyways, um. The other thing about it is, this is definitely not as repetitive as like other no songs this I can a, think of off the top of my head. This is a fine song. Is it like crazy amazing? Maybe not, but it's a good song. It's a solid. Because I mean, everyone I guess, looks great. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're if this is like a title track and you're expecting something like Me Gustas too, I think yeah, this person did weird. say you're like a big G friend fan, so oh, I guess they had a very in depth like, is this like, formula. Is this like song number five on like their little EP they put out that it wasn't hitting as yeah, hard as I, I know. thought? This song's actually pretty cool. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Look at this dance right now. Clap it up. You know, this actually seems like it'd be like a really fun summer song. Yeah. 
So yeah, I don't. I just know. appreciate the VVZ girls. So Shout much. out to them looking exactly the same as they do right now in VVZ. And this was from five years ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Probably gonna be stuck in my head. I know it's actually a pretty good song. Thanks, recommendation. Glad, yeah, I was gonna say we might actually come away listen to some stuff we really like. But yeah, what exactly did you know what the comment said? Or did you just like write down the? Um, I kind of took notes away from it, it, but this one they just said they thought it was too repetitive. So yeah, sure. Hey, shout out to the 2019 Asia tour for G Friend. Look cool. at that. All right, next one. All right, they're one and one right now. So next one. Got? I don't know if you've heard it. I don't think I have, unless we listened to it and I forgot. It's Haircut by Extraordinary Heroes. Have you I heard that song? I, the only Extraordinary Heroes song that I can remember is their very first one that they put out. Crazy first sentence that this person said was, their only skip on their whole discography. So, okay. <laughs> that's a bold statement. What was the song called? Uh, haircut. <laughs> it was like a hairstyle? Okay. <laughs> Might as well be. I have no, I don't know what this is at all. We're cooking so. this up fresh. I'm not sure. So I'm like and also, I don't know. Years. I did. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. One Six, year ago. A year ago. Okay. All right, let's see it. Haircut. I've never really vibed with any of their songs, so. Yes, yeah, true. I don't know if it'll really be a disappointment to me. But I mean, also, like you said, people are commenting on like big stands of these groups. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see where it'd be. What I'm expecting them to feel is what I felt when CLC put Devil out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they just said it was their only skip on their discography. But also, based off what other people in our Discord have actually said about groups that are like currently, like comebacks and stuff that are happening, I don't really know how much I can trust anybody's opinion on anything compared to like ours ourselves. You know, we definitely. I mean, I, all I can really say is the only person I can trust that has a somewhat similar vibe of music is you. So yeah, like no, everyone I else, I don't really know. See, they really bring home the course home here. Was, there's like a very prominent song that was like popular, and we like loved it, and other people did not like it at all. Recently. I know no one liked Batty. This thing sounds pretty sick. It's kind of a cool beat, not gonna lie. Cut that hair. This thing's pretty cool. Um, ooh, that's ooh, creepy. look at all that hair. I forgot they have the little band thing. Looks like you compared them to other songs. I don't know what. Yeah, that's the thing too. Is obviously we can't put ourselves in that person's like thought process or knowledge of the group. So we just gotta take it for what it is. It's not. I mean, it's not bad. Also, I these do guys are just like, always around. Literally, everybody in our Discord did not like uh, the Wu debut. So <laughs> <laughs> shout out to being with Wu since they debuted. Like, I have the receipts on that. Like, oh, people yeah. hated that. <laughs> the mixing is bad. That and, uh, Just Do It by Triple S Glow. <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad either. Just Do It. Or not Glow, NXT, NXT. sorry. Mmm. I really don't know if people hated the songs as much as didn't like the members. I just feel like didn't care about But it got form. a lot of hate. When they were just immediate, like, okay, now who's the last four? Yeah, it's I like, know. Well, we just got these ones. Everyone's stand NXT. They're the goats. Jubin, I'm glad my 35 votes for you paid off. I know. And now you're going to dance to Rolex. Dude, that's <laughs> like the greatest team ever. New gravity. Triple S is just like a zoo now. It really Man, is. I tried to go in there and do the trading, and even on like an off day, it's so busy. It's impossible. Yeah, I mean, this song's fun. Like it's I, okay. I never I mean, really was a big fan of them. Yeah, but. like, it's kind of fun. I like the I like the concept of the vid. Kind the of. course is pretty cool with that, like, slowed down type of riff. Yeah. These guys are, like... Like, this is... These guys seem like they're, like, never not doing anything. They really are popular. And they know uh, Austin, so... How bad can they be? Yeah, I feel like this would be the sickest group to be in, where you're, like, super popular, but you don't have to be, like, the breadwinner at all. But you're just, like, with JOP, so you're good. Well, sorry, whoever put this up. I don't know what you're comparing <clears throat> it to, but it seemed fine to me. It uh, seemed okay. Uh, next one is one we do know, but uh, I just wanted to watch it because I haven't watched it in a long time, and that was uh, Stamp On It by GOT. 
I, okay, so yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of agree with... Uh, this one... I do agree with them on this. This one, I will say. Because it's got the beat. Because they're... F I remember we watched it, like, live on the thing when it happened, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Since a, it doesn't matter. We can watch this one. Because oh remember we gosh. watched it on the, like, little yep. Saves the World little thingy here? Yep. But... I do agree with him, because I remember the first song was, like, extremely good. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what, this is probably pretty sick. And I listened to it, I'm like, you know what, not that good. When we watched this, I was so disappointed. Yeah, so. I loved this team of, like, these girls from SM. And freaking, uh, the first one, what was it, was it called? Super good. Step Back? Oh, gosh, I love that song. I love Step Back so much. That was, like, one of my favorite songs of that year, and it came out, like, in January. So I was so excited for their comeback. And I did not, I did not like this song at all. Well, I also I was, remember thinking, like, I was wow, really disappointed. They're actually having a comeback because uh, it was so popular. Because it was popular, I thought it was just like a one-time, like off, like super group thing. And then yeah. it actually came back. I was like, oh shit, this could be sick. That's why I put this yeah. one on there because I really agreed with it so much. Yeah. Like I just, I don't know. Like, I thought this part was, I thought it was just kind of weird and just didn't work. I like stayed up super late and watched this. Yeah, we watched this little stage. <clears throat> like, I love all these people. And Step Back is the GOAT, but like, this just wasn't it. I will say though, every other song on this album, kind of like the person was saying story nerds, I do love this album as a whole. And I really like all the other songs. Literally, this is the least favorite by far. This is like super skinny, starved Wendy too. And then notice after this, there hasn't been like a hint of them doing anything like this again. <laughs> yeah, because they like won a couple awards with the other one. Yeah, I don't know who came up with this, but... So that was one I saw and I was like, you know, I really agree with you on that one because I was actually sad. He was like, you know what, maybe it's not, not bring him back. I was <laughs> like, you know, you could have gone out on top. Maybe it's just time to give Super M that other chance. Yeah, what has ever happened to them? They're supposed to be coming back a little bit. They had a they couple comebacks, and then they just, uh, I don't know what they even did. <laughs> Their songs were cool. I thought this, like, dance work was kind of weird. I mean, technically, Lucas is back, so, I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's in time. I know. Super M. Oh, I think mm. Kai might be in the army. Is he? I think he might be. I really just don't ever know with those guys. There's like so many of them. They really do. Yeah, this one gets uh, the vote of uh, not great. Mm. What did the people say in the comments about it? They didn't really add that much. They kind of just said what we said. They're like, I really was looking forward to it, and it was just super let down. Uh, and they thought the dance break was really weird. I was like, you know, that's pretty fair. I feel like I feel like they kind of just uh, try. I feel like they like tried too hard. I do feel like maybe some of them, and even like the producer people, kind of like the Stray Kids stuff. Yeah. They kind of feel a lot of pressure. They have to like make the next big song compared to what they put out. And yeah. it just never works. And it's like, they need to make it be like that song, but not, but the same. And it's just like, eh. Kind of like, uh, God rest his soul. Shinsen on Tiger and fucking, uh... R.I.P. Um, well, <clears throat> bam. Oh my god. And boom. <laughs> well, I just imagine, and he's like, staying up late at night, he's like, I can't think of it. And he's like, wait a minute. I got it. Bam. And I do remember too, I don't know if I just thought the song was horrible. I was like, the song is an hour long. Why is it not done? So, no yeah. offense. I love all those people very much, but that was one. That was uh, an agree. Okay, couple more. Uh, next is a SM group, and it's okay. Hard by Shiny. I don't know if I've ever heard the song, but um, have you I heard the song? I might have. I mean, it's. I uh, have to see the video. No, I don't think I've seen this. It came out a year ago, 32 movie. I was like, I don't know what this is. But they just said they like Shiny a long time, but they just didn't like this song. I'll say Shiny's definitely one of those groups that has a lot of uh, pressure on them to perform every time they put something yeah. out. Yeah. Because they have a lot of fans like a huge They're like base. so famous. <laughs> Shout out to Taman going on the world tour. Yeah, I know. He's coming to you America. Can, you can get him that back-to-back uh, -back Ace with Taman shows in Chicago.
But then also, once again, with this, I don't really know what the fans are expecting. Yeah. Me, so I don't... Because a lot of times there's, like, songs, if I'm, like, a super big fan of, like, a group or something. Right. I've seen people do dances and stuff to this. But Have I, you? And, like, like, you know, like, on the Weekly Idols, like, random sure. dance things. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually seen the song. Or I honestly didn't know it was them. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. But I was saying, er, what I was saying earlier is, like, I don't know what they're really expecting because a lot of times, like, groups I don't, like, follow super close. Yeah. I'll just, like, hear a song, but, like, you know what? Me, you know? Sounds like a shiny song. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like an NCT song. Like, I was going to say, like... Sounds like an Extraordinary Hero song. Like, at that point, it can get in that vibe, and you're like, yeah, I can see it. It's not quite uh, Venpar by Weekly. <laughs> I was about to say, my biggest one is probably Venpar. <laughs> yeah, right? Venpar was a disappointment. Wait, I was... What is this crazy? This is not that bad. The chorus was cool. Mm. You know, honestly, I might, have seen people, nice. I might have seen people dance to this at KCON this year. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Like a random dance thing or like a cover thing they did. Maybe it was like a me like or a Zeg with uh, 80s type of situation where I just didn't know the song so I didn't even know what they're dancing to. I mean, it if, might If be. I heard it. It's not horrible. The chorus is cool. Damn it, you're so beautiful. You got Smurf hands, brother. I know. Oh, no. But yeah, Shiny's like forever famous, so they're fine. I was going to say, I mean, they can literally do whatever they want on that earth. And... Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like it would be kind of hyped to see this live. I was gonna say this does kind of sound like it could be like a like a NCT song. Though. Oh yeah, like it definitely seems like something you'd NCT. Would Shout be. out to just like I mean they're from the same place, but I'm sure yeah. these guys like write their own stuff, so I don't. Right. Like, can you not just see like Young and Mark Lee like singing right now? Like literally, I mean that's like all the, that's all in pictures. Is this right the now? Super comeback? I know. Whoa! I think we're on to something. Oh, that's fine. I don't. I thought that was kind of cool, actually. I kind of liked it. I just never heard it, so that's yeah, why I, I picked don't know. it. Um, number two, we got two more. This next one, which I never heard. I think it's they did it for a video game thing, but yeah. it was uh, Gods by New Jeans. I think it's for one of those like you know how they do that. Oh, I think I think I've heard this. Is it good? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I... They just said the person was kind of. Uh, explain or they didn't explain very much but they're just like they wish that it went to a group with stronger vocals and i was like i don't know i never really heard it so yeah so but i was like that's i guess a fair critique it's like a league of legends thing ah i know they have very like when they do it's like very how oh, this sounds like epi yeah. epic big music look at this little 3d animation Oh. He's got 101 million views. He's like, goodness gracious, a lot of views. But it's also League of Legends, so they probably... Right. Mm. The other thing is, I mean, if they're basing it off of, like, just New Jeans being New Jeans, it's for, like, League of Legends, so it's not going to, like, sound like a New Jeans. Right. Song, you know what I'm saying? That's like, totally fair. Yeah, this is, like, how all these songs kind of sound. Does it, was this what Soyeon and me like KDA, is this what they used to do it for? Yeah, we were. They were kind of sick. KDA has some cool songs. I think they actually played one for us. In case anybody was wondering, uh, South Korea just destroys League of Legends. Yeah, aren't they, like, love that stuff? Like, the finals every year come down to, like, just South Korean teams versus South Korean teams. Like, they're, like, so good. I mean, I mean, I don't really watch it too much, but one of my friends is, like, Wife is like super into League of Legends. Yeah. So when I'd go over there, they'd be like watching it on like the TV. Yeah. And like, there's like guys on there. I forgot the name of the actual teams are. Right. But there's like guys over there that are like super, super famous yeah. just from being on the League of Legends team. I know I watched some of the, actually when KDA and like Soyeon and them performed live at the thing. It's like in a stadium. Yeah. Like huge. And the guys would like come out and everyone freak out. They have like introductions and it's stuff. It's like sick. And they're just like, you know, it's like a big thing. It's like create like normal looking Korean kids, guys, whatever. Nope. 
And I don't, I don't really, I mean, I guess it's a fighting game. I'm sorry, I don't really know the premise of League of Legends. I mean, I don't I assume really you either. just go, like, fight people. You're kind of like just your little dude, and you go around, and you have to, like, take out the base or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't really play video games, I don't know, but... Yeah, I got no idea, but... This one I know. appears, like, from an outsider's perspective. I know. But I, uh... I saw it too, they had like the trophies in like a Louis Vuitton case and it like opened up. I was like, that's pretty sick. Yeah, dude, they take it serious over there. That's pretty Oh, there they are. And you probably like win. And you're just le like literally living legend now. Like, no way, that's such and such. Like, you're more famous than like Does a professional guy, athlete. Do they just like, I know, right? Do they just go to like the computer cafe and just like absolutely wreck everyone? <laughs> That must be where they practice, because I know like the little videos we watch, like, um, Haywan and stuff, when she's talking to him and like giving him food, and then a couple other ones I watched, the people are just like playing League of Legends on the computer. They're, they're like serious too, the guy like didn't even want to talk to Haywan because yeah. he's playing his video game. I mean this song's fine, it's actually exactly how I thought this would, yeah I guess if you like New Jeans you're right. You wouldn't really like this. This is not a song New Jeans would make. Or if like you're just like a casual fan and you just like follow them and you're just like, oh hey, a New Jeans song. Like they don't have, they don't have one song that sounds like this. Yeah, it's never it's not gonna sound so like that's, this. So that's I mean that's fair if like I guess, but it's okay. It's just like those. Also from the premise of this video, I have no idea who's winning. I guess that guy did. Oh, they're like, we got second to last. No, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get relegated. Yeah, yeah, and they have like a huge trophy too. World's oh, so it was from two years ago, last year, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so I guess if you're a New Jeans fan, that'd be pretty disappointing. Uh, last one, I think it's from AT's Birthday. That's my last one. I think that's I don't a think somewhat I, recent song. I don't think I've heard this either. I don't think we heard it. This might have been the other comeback I had no idea was actually Yeah, happening. I think I kind of went in there with the Stray Kids. And there were some multiple people who mentioned some, like, AT Stray Kids kind of, like, yeah, one month ago. Some people are like bouncy, and I was like, "What?" I mean, I know work <clears throat> came out, and work was sick. People, people said they're like work, and I'm like, "How would you not like this?" I, like, I want everyone to have an opinion, but come on now. Birthday. People were saying uh, like EXO, EXO, by and hyping. What? Or I guess I can uh, discuss some of the other songs while we listen to this. Yeah, I have no idea about this song at all. Birthday. Whoa. Okay. But I mean, how are you gonna found follow Bouncy like? Josh Bouncy was. I sick. mean, because I mean, Crazy Form wasn't even that great in my opinion. Honestly, I did not. People did mention Crazy Form. I did not really like Crazy Form. Um. I mean, yeah, Bouncy was sick. Work was sick. Obviously, the reel was sick, but that wasn't even like a comeback, technically. One of the things I kind of learned from looking at some of the comments, and I feel like it goes for a lot of stuff, this is like, okay, is that everyone just always likes people's early stuff, and then once it changes, they don't like it as much, because that's not what they like fell in love with, you know what I mean? Oh, that's fair. Huh? Yeah, it is fair. This is alright. I don't love the, like, whisper kind of chorus, what but it's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how you're... Bouncy was so sick. I love that song. And work. I'm not really sure what this was. If this was comeback, if this was some kind of release. It almost seems like a comeback, but it doesn't have enough views, in my opinion, to be a comeback, so I don't know. It really has... One month, two million? Month ago, so... Yeah, this has to be some kind of, like, special thing or B-side or something. But hmm. is very cool. What other ones are So, on? so my others list, and this was probably besides some of those Stray Kids songs, <clears throat> the two most said songs were Dynamite and Butter by BTS. And that was a lot of people saying they're big BTS fans, but they thought that those songs were too poppy and it tried to appeal way too much to the Western market. Which I've and said that, multiple times. Which is what we <laughs> kind of said, or you said. And they said they didn't really think that was like the real BTS um, and someone kind of said that about uh, Golden by Jungkook too, besides a couple songs. Like the whole album is yeah. just like Western appealing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so, and that was like people were claiming they're like BTS, you know, what is it? We did talk about this last week. <laughs> they said that they just don't think, they're like, we're happy it got them 
you get a lot of notoriety, but at the same time, like, you don't really, like, you want the more, like, hip-hop kind of older stuff. Yeah. Um, Good Boy Gone Bad by TXT. I thought the song was okay. Uh, I don't really know why. They didn't really give an explanation. <coughs> One that was actually recommended quite a bit, and I kind of understood the... I mean, I guess the song is fine. I yeah, know. I don't know, it kind of sounds like a AT really song. blow me away or anything. But... Uh, one that was mentioned a few times was Gold by Itzy, and they people would okay. kind of, compl- like, and it's not complain, but they said, like, it's kind of put together weird, which I can actually kind of see. Like, I really loved it, but it is a, like, interestingly built like, song. I, I'm pretty sure, did I say when we were watching, they had, like, really, like, in-mix vibe to it? Yeah, it's like, the parts are just kind of different, like, it, yeah. and they're like, and that's, I was like, you know, that's fair, and that one actually got mentioned a few times. I, I just didn't that. want to put it on there, because we literally just watch it. Um... Then there was some WGSN, Butterfly, and Last Sweet Sequence. Okay, first off. Which I thought Last Sequence was freaking awesome. Last and I mean, me. I was like, they just like didn't think it fit the WGSN vibe. I was like, oh, I don't know. How did that fit the WGSN vibe? I don't know. That, that was, and that was, those were actually different people that said that was not one person. Someone hmm. said Butterfly, someone said Last Sequence. Sure. Um, another one that was multiple times that I really, really agree with was Chill Kill by Red Velvet. Yeah, I was, was kind of... I was very disappointed with that song. Bummed on that one. Because so, I was like, oh, it's going to be sick. I haven't seen him in a while. You know, What's-A-Face was awesome. Whatever the song was before it. Yeah. And then the, the teasers were really creepy and cool. And then the song was just kind of like, this is kind of weird. Yep, that's pre- pretty much what people said. They're like, it's this cool, dark vibe. And like it was like like a song trying to be dark, but it wasn't. Yeah. It just like didn't fit. And I completely agree. Still don't really like that song. Another one that I actually agree with, I like the song kind of, but they said... Uh, Crazy by La Seraphim because they really liked uh, what was the one before it? The hip hop like one that you liked, like the first one you liked. Oh, um I totally forgot the name. Sure. Easy. Easy. They're like, I loved Easy, but then they just thought that That was one crazy... of the songs that everybody hated when we listened to it. Yeah. It was easy. Nobody liked that song in our Discord. I'm not really sure how, because I loved that song. But someone said they didn't like Crazy because they were like they loved Easy. I do but they really thought crazy it. was kind of just like this like weird put together loud song. It's like I can see that. I, I mean, like it, but I like Easy a lot more. I was like, I'll be honest with you. I we listened to it for our one episode. I don't. Know I have not listened to, to it since. I've not listened to it since. Uh, like I said, Case One Four Three by Stray Kids, Golden by Jung Cook, pretty much as an album. Someone said all and mixed titles, which is a little rude. You know. Okay. Um, <laughs> And then the multiple people who were like, "Please don't kill me." They said "Apt" by Rose or Apt. I sure. can see that for sure. Uh, Maestro and Super by Seventeen. Uh, Exo by Enhypen, which I thought that I love that song. Yeah, I don't know why. Someone was like, it's too lo-fi. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. Lo-fi. But there was multiple people who said that or other Enhypen releases too. So sure. I don't know. If, uh, someone mentioned, different people mentioned Midas Touch and Get Loud by Kiss of Life, which I kind of agree with too. I mean, I've, I thought I've, Get Loud definitely kind of fell flat for me. I was, I've been said before, I'm not a huge fan of like their music. It's not like something that sticks out to me. I know a lot of people like it and our Discord love them. Yeah. Um, but we talked about it when we actually watched the Get Loud thing. I was like, for being called Get Loud, this really does not hit like it should. But then on the other hand, their one song, Igloo, was like a and that's, times better. That's literally what the comments said, like Igloo's way. And that's what like I agree with. Igloo was, Igloo's sick, but. I thought Get Loud wasn't great. And I honestly was not like super crazy about Midas Touch either. Uh, someone said Mantra by Jenny. I agree there. It's kind of just generic to me. Yeah. And Either Way by Ive. I think that person's insane. Either Way is freaking awesome. That is a really good song. I love that song. It's beautiful. It also doesn't help. They had like three title tracks. On that yeah. Song, it's, I, mean. I don't know. But I don't. They didn't really even give an explanation. But okay. they said Either Way by Ive. And then uh, someone said Cheeky Icy Thing. Which I can kind of see that. I mean, I can too, because I remember when we first heard it, we're like, this ain't Like, it. this, this is kind of weird. But then we saw it live, and we're like, this is so much better. <laughs> we definitely have a better appreciation from seeing it multiple times at KCON, but I still can totally see where the person's coming from. And then, of course, there was someone who said, uh, not, um... I swear to God, if they say BBB, I'm going to... No, no one, lose. luckily... I'm going to flip my shit. No Purple Kiss was mentioned, no Triple S was mentioned. Um, like the one Easy, just, easy. They said easy. And they were like... This comeback was if I was gonna stand them or not, and then Easy come out. Easy came out. It did not like it, so now I'm just a casual listener. I was like, "Geez, I feel like see, I, you're putting I, too much weight into it." That's the one that I was thinking about earlier because I remember we like both listened to it. And everyone yeah. was really down on it. I'm like, all right, well, let's listen to it. 
Everyone says it's like extremely bad. They're not vibing with it, whatever. And we listened to it for a reaction video. We're like, this is the sickest song ever. Easy's my favorite title track to have besides uh, their debut, probably. Like, they're tied. Like, like, Easy's so good. I don't know how you can't like it. But also, whatever. don't know how you're like basing off that song. You're like, no, I'm just a casual listener. I was like, goodness gracious. Talk uh, about pressure. <laughs> but, man. but I agree with the person that crazy because that, I don't know, it's kind of an interesting song. But yeah, that was, that was I mean, there were some other ones, but you know, whatever. That was kind of the gist of it. Everyone's got their own opinions. I'd say personally for me, if I had to think of them, besides the Vinpara one. Ooh, Vinpara. Um, I think, honestly, number one for me would be the album that Billy put out after Ring My Bell came out. Because that's when we were like really into it. We like joined the fan club and we were like, yes. We were in the This is like so club. awesome. Like, like, actually. Ring My Bell, sick. This is like the <clears throat> sickest album of all time. It's got even got, I don't know. We just like loved him at that point in time. We had Ginga Minga, yo. Like everything was awesome. Gosh, it was so good. And then we legit, you can see it. Go watch our reaction video for it. We were very disappointed. And they came up with that, like, you know, ya, you know, you know, uh, yeah, they got interesting names. And then it was just like, after that, for me, in my opinion, it just like went downhill for me. I haven't really been a fan of a lot of the stuff they put out since then. Yeah, that one, that, I don't know, that was not like Ginga Minga, yo, and to ring my bell is like oh. the ultimate hype. Like, oh my gosh, these guys are going to be the best. I still listen to those songs, like, on the playlist, like, a lot. And like, then they just really, kind of, I really like those. I don't know. I don't know what direction they were going in, but it was not the same. No, I agree. I agree with those. And uh, then I think my other pick, if I had to pick one, would just be um, the Artemis people with uh, like Odd Eye Circle in, yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, sick. They kept Odd Eye Circle together. Like, this is going to be awesome. Air Force One. Yeah, because they're going to go, you know, continue off what they were doing when they were, like, you know, with Luna and stuff. And then Air Force One came out, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. Yeah, it and was... then they had the actual Artemis songs come out, and I'm like, I some of this those is weird. some of those were just like not hitting the mark at all. Yeah, so that's like there's a couple that are really solid, but other ones. My I'm biggest like, disappointment was with that. Yeah, um, I was... definitely thought about Vampara. That was like kind of one of the early ones, and that stamp on it <laughs> for real. Yeah. Um, and then that freaking Wacky Macky song was a crush. Like, I just... I think so. I will have a vendetta against that forever in my life. And freaking being so hyped for Dullion on the motorcycle. But Kiss Kicks, man, never again. <laughs> that one's... That's from 2018, folks. And I'm still scarred from that. I'll never forget that one. And then uh, Jenny's first solo song, I just still never... It just never really clicked for me. And I'm sure there's, like, other ones, too. But those are just kind of the ones off the top of my head. Yeah, Devil's a great example. That's probably honestly oh, the gosh. Freaking Devil. Yeah, <clears throat> that was a weird time in life. Devil is not great. Um, I know a lot of people are probably mad about this, but whatever. One of the ones that's like super disappointing for me too was the stuff that XG came out with after Shooting Star. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a couple of decent songs, but none of them were like were as good as what I thought. Like Shooting Star, and Left, Right, and all that were like. I don't know if it was just seeing him at KCON during that time or what, but, like, ever since then, they just, like, fell off a lot for me. I just yeah, don't. I know. Like, same. I don't. I just don't. Because you, like, like, really liked them. And we, like, watch, like, videos and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you see the stuff, and I'm just like, you know what? I don't know if it's, like, trying to get too, like, weird and experimental with it, but it's just not as good as when, like, Shooting Star came out. Yeah. Oh, that was good stuff. I'm trying to think of, like, specific, like, teasers I saw. I'm like, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, I know. Like, this is life-altering. That was definitely... Was not as good. I so definitely thought that good. for Chill Kill. I was very excited. It was, like, beautiful. And then... And I know you thought that for the Wacky Mackey one. Oh. It's just, just time to go revisit just, the Wacky Mackey oh, Gosh, stuff. please. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's, like, awesome now. It's time to just wrestle your demons. Just don't show me Doyen on the motorcycle. Oh, was it Boca? It might have been. I don't know. I didn't like that song. Someone also said OOTD by Gene Kutcher, but I kind of like that song, so I didn't put it on there. Cool was good. Picky crush. Oh, picky picky. Great song. I've said that for a long time. Oh gosh, this is all I need. I'm so excited. Biggest tease. Ever. Gosh, <laughs> don't even look so good. One of my favorite teasers of all time. And then for some reason, I actually so oh we're never like really big fans of Wacky Mackey. And I remember seeing these teasers, and you were like telling me about it, and I'm like, you know what? This looks like it might be the game changer. Because it was like sick, awesome. <laughs> and then we just listen, and I'm crush. like, you know what? This is kind of basic. <laughs> I was like, this is not what I needed. I don't even know what I needed. Oh my gosh. Don't look, just looks so great. If we literally stopped the video before the music started, fantastic. This, this is just... 
one of those songs. Maybe we have to do a whole episode on this. Any of like where very... the video just did not fit the vibe of the, the song. Did, yeah. did not feel the vibe of the song. Whatever you're gonna call it, you know. It was like From six years ago. Holy. Fifteen million. Six years ago. That's how long I've been disappointed. <laughs> that's how long I've been hurt. I was like, this is the song that's gonna put him over the edge. And like they're like like kind of like badass chicks, like dark clothing, you know, like trying to give off that like really hardcore vibe. I just, and it's like a very poppy song. I don't know. I just didn't like it. And I like love when they do the girl crush ba badass vibe with the like fun poppy stuff when it's like a good mix. But it just didn't work for me. I just remember staying yeah, there. Not fit to buy for this I just song. remember. Well, and they also have like very much like weapons, like little like guns, it, like it's like legit stars. guns. And I'm like, that's I don't know. It's always kind of an interesting vibe. I don't know. This bass is hitting deep though, right now though. Maybe it's wrong all these years. No, it's still not great. Yeah, I just I don't know. Never really looked. Tried to not, uh, tried to hold myself back from being too high for teasers after this because I remember being all in. I was like, it's gonna be my song of the year oh, easily. <laughs> oh, what I can tell you off the top of my head, too, like people are super disappointed with. Oh, it's funny looking back on it now because it's like so popular, but, um, the one song by Blackpink, people were like super disappointed with it, like hated it forever. Which one? Um, was it Kill This Love? The one with like, like, like Laura Croft? Yeah. That, People were like yeah. super mad about that for a long time. And I'm like, why? Yeah, because Teddy, it was like the same song as. That's kind of a thing, too, that we've talked about before is like, when you see a teaser and you hear the teaser, you see the photos, and you really can feel the direction of the song, and the song is exactly that. I'm like, what were you expecting? Like. Yeah, like recently, Click Clack. A lot of people we know have like not been fans of like the Click Clack by Baby Monster. Yeah. Which I think was great. Oh, it's I exactly love what it. the teaser Ten out of like. ten. Ten out of ten. Like I don't know what you'd be surprised by in this point. And people were just not fans of it, and I'm like, um, why? Like this is what you signed up for. Like what are you mad about? But yeah, I just remember people were really mad about that Black Pink song. Yeah. I don't know why, but they were not fans of it. <laughs> That is 100% percent Lapalus started a live video. What the heck? Lapalus? They're alive. Um, honestly, hand up, one... I did enjoy the song a lot, but one that... And then they all get, like, busted because they're... Like, listen, dude, like, this was the song, like, this is the Yeah, song. that'd be that cool. Sick. Like, let's kind of get that going. And you can still be girl crush with this. Good job, Dalyon. At least my girl Rena out here is looking awesome. And then we just get back into this, like... Yeah, what was the point of that? Like, honestly, maybe if the... I don't know, it just didn't mesh together. Because maybe everything wasn't bad, it's just you need to mesh it together. Maybe if Dalian just didn't have the motorcycle and leather pants. Oh. Good thing you're getting... You're getting photoed right now, like, why would you not... Anyway. Haha, <laughs> and they're going to jail even longer. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's where you deserve to be. Yeah, I don't... Kiss Yeah, that's, I definitely remember being very upset about that. Oh, man. That really stung for a long time. It's okay. What did you think of these songs, Sorting Hat? Yeah. <laughs> That's, I agree. That's how I felt watching that Lucky Mecky one again. Amen, brother. Six years later. Curious. Shout out to 15. <laughs> Man, <curious. laughs> Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I mean, that was a decent list. There's definitely a good mix of stuff. It's just kind of weird because I don't know I what did some like, of the people like. I did like to. when people... Yeah, I know it's kind of difficult, but I did like to try and include some of what people said just to... See if we agreed or disagreed with that, because you know everyone's got their own opinion. So very true. But, Good episode. Yeah. Thanks Reddit. Yeah. Thanks for recommending us all these songs. That one song was pretty cool. I don't remember what it was, but Extraordinary Heroes wasn't bad. We'll have to go back on the list. Honestly, I like that shiny song. That was kind of cool. Yeah, it was. I did. I wouldn't have guessed it was shiny if you're just like, who from SM is this? Or just said who was it in general. Is like, this Super like a... M? Yes or yes? Yeah. I know, yes. Right? Speaking of stuff that's definitely not as good as what I always think it's going to be, the Twice songs that have come out. Uh, oh, Yes or Yes was one of those for sure, I'd say. And that was before Fancy. So I remember actually being pretty disappointed with Yes or Yes. I didn't really like that song. And that was like, hey, day, loving Twice. Yeah. So that was a long, long time ago. I'm just trying to think of what other... Oh, what I was going to say earlier is one, I actually like 
So can't lie to myself, and I was disappointed, like, kind of overall. I do enjoy the song a lot, but I was really bummed about the video was uh, 28 Reasons, mainly because oh, yeah. Sulgi had the most, like, beautiful teasers I've ever seen, and, like, the preview video was literally like a movie. It was like a whole movie. It was so <laughs> it was good. There was, like, explosions, and it was, like, beautiful, and some of the best intro to a comeback or, I guess, debut I've ever seen, and then, like, none of it was in the video. And the song was cool, you know, it it fit, like, well with what it was. It's just, I think overall, in my heart, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed with that, just because, I don't know. It was just, like, built up so well, and all the picks were so good. The albums are so, like, it's just beautiful, like, legit, they did a great job, but for some reason, the video just did not work for me. That's someone fair. might have actually put that on, I'm not sure, there was a lot of songs, but someone might have kind of said that. I'd have to... I'll have to go on the thing and read all the comments on it because I'm sure there's more girl group based ones I could agree with than the boy group ones. Yeah. Mainly because obviously we listen to a lot of girl groups, so. Yeah. We'd have, I expect to know the feelings of the people that are like mentioning these groups in the thing. Yeah. Compared to like, um, I don't know. I mean, we like Stray Kids and ATs, but also we only like like certain songs, but we're not like diehard fans or anything. Right. Um,. It is nice to know that some of the BTS fans do feel the same about the... They get it. They know where I'm coming from. They listened to last week's episode. Yeah, I know. They just... I mean, those songs are just really generic. Like, sorry, they are. I'm like looking at my shelf and I'm trying to see... I'm trying to think. I mean, honestly... Assemble 24, uh, Girls Never Die was okay. Yeah. Disappointed might not be the right word, but... but... Honestly, was not blown away. We talk about Triple S and how much we like them all the time. We still do. I've maybe listened to Girls Never Die two times. Yeah, I, I it's not even on my playlist. I listen. The song I've easily listened to the most is the Midnight Flower. Easily, I love that song a lot. But yeah, Girls Never Die. That was kind of okay. And I'm, I not, did I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, one of the best songs I of the year. I did say on our reaction video that I think Hit the Floor is way better. Oh, than way better. Die. I really like Hit the Floor. Like, genuinely very good. Now, if that was her, like, debut song, Ooh, that would have been why awesome. not? I just kind of feel like they got in a thing where it's like, all right, the best we need is to like, make it sound exactly like the other ones. I mean, ones. that's exactly and what it like, is because people literally commented on it like, oh, this is like an exact, like, continuation of, like, evolution. And I'm like, I'm like, maybe we didn't need that. Even Maybe though, you need to stop even putting La like, La La in the beginning of all oh, the songs. I said that. I'm like, well, like I don't I know. It's what, it. everyone, it's what everyone voted for. So it's like, it's I like guess they're thing, getting what they want. But, I mean, after a while, maybe you could I just was like, that. this is like not as good assemble the first one. Like, I don't know. That's, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't like so disappointed, but I didn't necessarily love oh, it. Oh, here's a perfect one for you. One that I do remember seeing like the teasers and stuff for, and I was kind of disappointed in the song to begin with. Yeah. Kind of like the Stacy thing, and then we grew to have an appreciation for it. Sure. Was uh, Sweet Juice by Purple Kiss. Oh, that's a good one. Because I remember seeing the teasers. Like, actually. Oh my gosh, the little bell hops in the house. This is awesome. And the song came out, because I told people in the uh, Discord about it. And I was like, you know what? Not my favorite song they ever put out, but they got some cool B sides on there. Yeah. But then once we saw it live and they were like doing oh, all this stuff it. live, I was like, "Wow, best yeah. song I've ever seen in my life." No, I completely agree with that. But I do know, I do remember when it first came out because we like listened to all of them, even before we were like super big fans. We definitely and said I, that, and I was kind of not feeling it. I was like, you know what? Uh, it's kind because I remember like, M E M was awesome, and then like Zombie was awesome. Zombie's fun. I mean, this isn't the order that came out, in, obviously. And then, uh, uh, Nerdy was cool. And then this was more of a... That was, like, kind of okay at the time. I don't know. This was... Because those were all kind of more, like, a... Kind of upbeat sounding still. Yeah. Well, this was more like a kind of a slower type of sensual sounding song, honestly. Yeah. And I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know about this. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for here. I kind of feel like it was a thing where we were fans of them, but it was, like, fans, and we are just, like, waiting for that, like, Ali oop to really be, well, like, Well, we did. We yeah. Always, we didn't always say, like, they had, like, songs we liked. Where's that one? But they didn't have really... one that, like, blew us away when we were, like, oh. So I guess you could say that for every Purple Kiss title track. And, like, ever. seeing, but, like, see, I just remember really digging the... Like, oh, this is the one. This is the one that's going to blow us away. Digging the concept and the outfits, and you're, like, whoa, this is going to be it. Teasers, blah, blah, blah. And then I, we were in the same boat where I was, like... Eh. But yeah, now it just sounds like a purple kiss it. song. One of the best, like it's so good. It's absolutely, absolutely great. But that's definitely one I can think of off the top. Yeah. Of my head now that oh, that was one of our killer teasers. Because I was like, man, the little bellhops. They're yeah. like a haunted house or a haunted uh, 
like hotel, hotel thing. like you know the shining like this is crazy like what's gonna happen here i just love that where it was like real solid concept and it, like that was the concept it wasn't like a bajillion different things in one or what it was just like oh yeah like the creepy bellhops like that's cool like that's a good one um I'm trying to think what other ones are i mean i'm sure there's a i mean honestly there's probably been so many it's just uh, uh also another i guess another one that i was kind of disappointed with uh, it's not one of my favorite songs I have, but um, Secret Story of the Swan by Eyes One when they came out with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Because that was also like one of the ones where they came back after, you know, their whole like issue thing. And I was like, oh, they're going to come back with like some freaking heat. Like, they're about to crank it to 11. And then that came out and I was like, I don't know if this is it. Yeah. Teasers were sick, though. No, yeah, they're, they're good. Lots of uh, CGI. Yeah, I don't... Uh, was it the CGI that did it? Yeah, it might have been. Um, I mean, I don't know if I could say disappointed at this point, but a lot of the Fromus releases. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which we say that a lot, though, like even on other episodes of just like, they just have not... I'm just glad they're still around. Yeah. Or just honestly happy they're, you know, kind of thriving. 109 million views in four years. That's pretty years. good. No That's deal. pretty good. Look at that. Is that a real plate in the sky that they're on? I think so. I think so. Hey, there's a... There's Eugene is a uh, Halloween one. Halloween one. But yeah, Secret Sword know. of the Swan wasn't my favorite. Yeah. But maybe that's just me. Did buy a lot of the albums though, so <laughs> jokes on me. Haha, <laughs> 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 fool. Got me. That's uh Is it just time to say Tribe's debut? <laughs> <laughs> that oh okay, first off, yes. <laughs> that's we you could go back, we talked about Billy's. that a bunch. <laughs> Tribe's debut, we were extremely excited for. Like, what is this? Like, we talked about it because we watched it for an episode, and we were like, oh my gosh, Shinsadong Tiger, R.I.P., Ellie, they got their own group, this is going to be so sick, I can't wait. And we listened to it, and we're like, what was that? <laughs> we're like, this is horrible. It was like enough to, maybe I do hear that person who was listening to freaking Easy, and just like, I was like, I can't know if I could even stand anymore. <laughs> yeah, that sure. definitely happened. That is true. I forgot about that. Again, yeah. new appreciation for it, for sure. But at the time, my gosh, Ooh. disappointment was real. Ooh. Very much real. If we never saw them live, it was probably number one on the list. Uh, no, you know what? That's probably true. That's a safe bet. Which, I mean, I guess is kind of unfair, because they're just a debuting group. But... Yeah. <laughs> just give them no shot. Yeah. F, out of the gates. But... I don't know. I'm sure we can think of more later for another episode. Yeah, that's kind of just other ones. And yeah, I mean, it's always when you can revisit because there's like infinite amount of songs. So. I don't know. Maybe I've just been way more disappointed than I was not disappointed <laughs> now that I think about it. I was like, well, really? What songs did we like? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just calling out all my favorite groups now. But uh, Shout out to all the people who did not like BBB. Don't yeah, know why. Yeah, I don't know why. Nobody liked it but us. So That's okay. They better like on my bike. Yeah, on my bike is cool. They yeah. must like it because I don't see anybody posting constant negativity about it online. Of so the unless... group's going to disband. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, did the group? Did their company give up on them? I know. Like what a like a day after. I'm like, what a mean thing to say. Is it too late to hope for a better song in their next? How comeback? did they fall back to new <laughs> Yeah, I was like, guys, the song literally just came out. It's like been 30 six minutes hours, ago. guys. I calm down. I don't know. But I guess no news is good news because no one's been saying anything. I have not seen anything, so that is good. But yeah, that was a good episode. Yeah, interesting stuff. stuff. There's and some good stuff in there. You can always revisit that one in the future and see what's up. Since, you know, everyone's got their opinions. Um, I'm really just going to cut to the chase this week and make my Idol of the Week dosy because yeah. it's dosy time. Yeah, absolutely. We I'm in the thick of it. I'm making Yuki my Idol of the Week because I'm super jealous of everyone that gets to see him with their little fan meets because they look fun. And... On oh, my bike was sick. On oh, my bike was sick. And I, all their stages I love. Are sick. Yeah, they're good. I like it's genuinely good, and you know, you know us. We'll tell you if it's not. <laughs> I I, lo- I loved on my bike. I thought it was very good. Actually, the whole the whole little EP thing was. It's sick. solid, really solid. And yeah. now I'm at the point where it's like, well, album cycles come to an end. Time to announce the American tour. Yeah, I know. Next, in, hopefully, it's next in year. Next, it's yeah. It's, Hopefully. Hit us up in like March or something. Yeah, let's get that nice spring Perky tour. I'd love it. That'd be perfect. Gosh, Team Perky Idol of the Week. That's what we like to see. Let us know what uh, songs you guys are disappointed in after seeing yeah, the teasers. Absolutely. I'm sure everyone's disappointed in something because... It's probably all the ones we like. If you so. say all, if you say your favorite group just put out bangers every single time... That well, they it's impossible. Songs, they no just way. don't. They don't. At all. 
But yeah, let us know in the comments what ones you were disappointed with. Yeah. Or if you're disappointed with this episode, we'll take either one of them. Absolutely. What uh, parting words do you have for us, Sorting Hat? Let's see. Yes. Okay, we're going right, back to the There we go. Again Thank for you. Third time. Wow, what a shot. All right, sick. We're going to hang out with Cho Chang, so we'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Peace. Bye.